What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my hotel room here in London. I fell in love with this city when I was here last month. They're currently having another little heat wave. It is uh, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius, so it is absolutely stunning outside. I'm gonna go walk around town and I thought I would bring you guys along with me while also um, doing a wear test because what better way to test out a product than in the city when it's a beautiful day out. Um, you guys can also see it in a hotel setting. Um, I think this lighting and setup actually looks better than in my studio. Don't you guys agree? So, Laura Mercier reached out a while back and they wanted me to do a honest review and wear test of their new translucent loose setting powder glow. They're best known for their translucent loose setting powder. It's a classic. It's this one right here. Um, it's one that I carried in my kit when I used to freelance. It's one that I feel every makeup artist had in their kit when they freelance or still freelance. It's just like a powder, a good setting powder that looks good on everyone. They have since come out with a darker shade in um, the original. The new one does come in a darker shade as well. Um, Mario, Makeup by Mario, he did share some amazing tips on how to use the darker shade of the translucent loose uh, glow powder. I got to attend his um, little masterclass that he did with Laura Mercier, I think about a month ago. So um, with the addition of this new powder, Laura Mercier and Mario created this set up, set down technique that allows you to set your makeup while also mattifying the areas that you wanna mattify and creating a glow everywhere else. So I'm gonna share that technique with you guys. I'm gonna do um, some check-ins throughout the day and see how it goes. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. But whenever I'm testing out a new setting powder, I like to use um, or I try to use a foundation or create a base that is in the same brand because obviously when these brands create new products, they test them out in a variety of scenarios, but specifically with their own products to see how they work well together. So I'm gonna start by using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. It's one of the longer wearing foundations that I currently own that still looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey or too matte or drying because most long wearing matte foundations tend to do that to my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and dispense a little, maybe like two to three pumps on the back of my hand. I like to really work that foundation into the beauty blender and then just lightly stipple it across the entire face to get a really nice light even application. And again, sticking with Laura Mercier, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 2W, which, by the way, is one of the best matching concealers in a single shade that I own. You guys know I like to mix a lot because of my light olive skin tone. But this one shade in particular looks so good as a highlight. It doesn't translate gray or beige or, it's just like the right color. So what I do is I apply this directly underneath the eye first. And then as I blend out this concealer, I apply it to the rest of the center of the face to highlight. So I just start under here and kind of do like a general blend, like just a quick blend like that and then drag the rest onto the center of the face for a nice, easy highlight. I can also take this onto the eyelid as well because it works really well as an eyeshadow base. So we're gonna start with the original translucent loose setting powder. It looks good on everyone. It really does lock in your makeup. And Laura Mercier has always used the Velour Powder Puff to set with powder. Um, you guys know I love using this technique as well. I used to do it all the time. I haven't done it in a recent video, but I'm glad that Laura Mercier is reminding me of how great a powder puff is. The reason it works so well is because it really presses the powder into the skin versus um, like a light sweep with a brush, which is what I've been doing lately, but um, I did this technique the other day and I was like, wow, my makeup really does last a lot longer with this and the powder just goes on a lot nicer. So for this technique, I like to just dip directly into the powder. I have a good amount sitting up top of the container. You can also, you know, sprinkle a little bit onto the poof like this, but I like to just dip in here. And then to evenly distribute the powder across the entire puff, I just kind of like work it in like this. Which is also why I feel like this technique works so well because you're getting like a nice even powder application versus like piling it on in one spot, which kind of happens with a brush because you hit the, or one part of your face and most of the powder gets applied to that area. So with this, you kind of like evenly distribute it across the entire puff and then you do a little press and roll motion. So I'm gonna start with the center of the forehead. You're just gonna do this. Really working the powder into the skin. So even right here along the jawline, just like that. And then you can also really press it in underneath the eyes. 
And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. Right off the bat, I have to tell you guys, I love what they did with the packaging because the two containers do look identical, but as you can see, they made the glow powder shiny, more reflective, and then the original has obviously the original cap. But it's easy to tell which is which so that you don't get them confused. And the main difference between these two powders is that the translucent glow has pearls in it that give a really nice soft reflect on the skin. Almost, I would describe it as like a candle lit glow, lit from within glow. Not a really intense highlight, which I also love for a daytime look. For daytime makeup, I like my makeup to look really soft, natural. One of the, um, or I've always said in my videos, one of the dead giveaways that you have a lot of makeup on is a highlight because in direct sunlight, it can look a little too glittery, a little too shiny. Um, but this one is great, this powder, because it just gives your skin that natural radiance without looking like you applied a liquid or cream or powder highlight that's like super intense. Um, so with this powder, what you're gonna do is set the areas that you want to be glowy. So this powder, just like the original translucent, has a 12 hour, it has a 12 hour wear. It'll set your makeup for 12 hours. And uh, they also, or Laura Mercier also created this amazing brush that is the glow powder brush. And what I love about this brush is that they made it so easy, it's almost like foolproof, um, to highlight your skin because it just fits the natural contours of your face, so it kind of does the highlighting for you. So I mainly like to use this end over here. I'm gonna dip this end of the brush into the powder. Make sure to tap off the excess. And for this, what you're gonna do, again, it kind of guides you when highlighting because it just fits the shape of your face. And you're gonna glide it onto the high points of the face, so right here. And then also onto the brow bone and temples. And see that beautiful, it's reflecting light so beautifully while everything else remains matte. And I like to sweep it back and forth because I feel like it really works in those pearls and gives more of a skin-like glossy finish versus it just sitting on top of the skin. And again, it is locking your makeup in place, so you don't have to use the translucent all over and then go in with this one. You can use each one of the powders on the different areas of your face that you wanna highlight and mattify. And the glow is so pretty. It's like a very universal, soft, like champagne gold color. I'm also gonna highlight the bridge and tip of the nose, Cupid's bow and chin, which is crazy because it fits. Look, do you see how it just fits everywhere? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup so I can get out of this hotel room, walk around London, and of course, bring you guys along with me. All right guys, makeup is complete. I think that it looks perfect for daytime wear. I mean, look how subtly beautiful. Is that even a word, subtly beautiful? Look at how subtle and beautiful this glow looks. I mean, you can see it. It's like a very soft, I gotta get out and get some caffeine. It's like a really nice, soft reflect, not like bam in your face, like she's clearly wearing makeup. I think it's just like a very natural, beautiful glow. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wear it all day long. It is currently 1.30 p.m. I have a meeting that I actually have to run to. The meeting's at 1.30. So I'm gonna head out to my meeting first, walk around London, and then I'll come back to check in with you guys to give um, the final review and results of this wear test. All right, I am back from my lunch meeting and I forgot to pack my lipstick, so my lipstick wore off a bit, but we're not focused on the lip today, we're focused on the skin and honestly, my skin still looks incredible. Not too oily, not too um, matte. I'm getting a little oily right here, which is the first place to get oily on my T-zone anyway. It's usually, um, like right up against the nose right here and forehead, but I'm not as oily as I normally am. Uh, you can take a closer look and I still have that nice glow on the high points of the face, which is really beautiful. I'm gonna touch up my lip really quick. I hate when I do that. You know when you go to lunch and then you forget your lip and then you're like, what do I do? This color is like pretty close to my natural lip color when it fades, so it's not too bad. So I'll let you guys be the judge. I think the skin still looks amazing. It is currently 
I just realized I didn't show you guys a timestamp before I left. My meeting was at 1.30, so I did my makeup around 12.30. It is currently 4.38 p.m. And my... Kyle? <laughs> I'm in the middle of filming, don't text me. <laughs> um, I think my makeup still looks phenomenal. But um, yeah, this is my first check-in. I'm gonna go to this little matcha bar that I found last time I was in London. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and maybe like flip the camera around and show you my makeup in natural sunlight. Alright guys, I'm back in my hotel room after a super long day out in London. Um, I would have shown you more of it, it's always super awkward for me to film by myself with this giant camera, so I tried capturing like a little bit of footage here and there. Um, but anyway, I'm just popping in here real quick for one final check-in. Um, I don't know where my phone is at, but it is currently, it's close to midnight, so I'm pretty tired. But I made the effort to come on here and show you guys what my makeup looks like, and honestly, it still looks incredible. This is the most matte my skin has been in a really long time. You guys know I love a super dewy finish, sometimes a little too dewy for camera, but I really like this. I feel like it lasted a long time. It still looks as good as when I first applied it, which is really important. And I think it's a combination of using the um, foundation concealer and the powder. And I love that the areas that I highlighted with the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow are still it's still that candlelit glow. It's not super bam in your face, um, like the areas that are starting to get a little bit oily. So I still think it looks great. So to give you guys like an overall review, um, especially based off of skin type, I think that if you are someone who has an oilier skin type, you might still like this powder because I totally get it. If you're oily, you don't want anything shiny. You don't want your foundation to be dewy. You don't want an intense highlight. You don't want, um, a cream highlighter. You're very particular about it, and I know that from um, having done makeup in the past, but I feel like because this is a setting powder and it's so incredibly subtle, and again, it's locking your makeup in for 12 hours, so you might wanna give it a try. I don't think you should completely um, I, I don't think it's a complete no for you guys. I think it's worth giving it a try if you want a little bit of a glow, um, but you're afraid of looking oily, so. Um, for a drier skin type, I think definitely if you're a drier skin type, you're gonna like this powder because if you are dry, you want your skin to look really luminous and dewy and fresh and I think this powder will give you that and you could still go in with another highlighter that's more intense on the very high points of the face to further intensify that glow. So um, I think that is my overall review. I think it's a great powder. I think it's a great addition to the Laura Mercier Translucent, which again is my all-time favorite setting powder, I think it works on everyone. It is genuinely the powder that I always travel with because it's always guaranteed to work, especially on my under eyes, which for some reason always crease up like crazy. With that powder, it doesn't. It really locks in your makeup. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different. Hopefully it doesn't feel all over the place and random. I just wanted to do something different. So comment down below if you guys did enjoy this video. I'm gonna head off to bed because it is getting super late and I gotta catch a really early flight. So as always, you know the drill if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like share it subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you in my next one bye guys